so now we're going to have a look at how movement works, how the ships move, and Matt is going to move his Basilean fleet and show you the different speeds and the turning circles and things like that. Okay, so both of these ships have uh, a move of five. What that means is for each move step they perform, that's five inches that they have to move. And they have to move that far. You can't do a partial, partial move step. Um, now this one um, has been set to um, battle speed, so it will make two move steps. This one's been set to uh, full speed, so it can make three move steps. And because they've both got different turning circles, you'll see the difference in, in, in what that looks like. So what are the speeds? So you've got battle speed, full speed. So you've got anchored, which yep. is obviously not moving at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, steady, battle, full. Okay. Yeah. So if we move this one, so this, this ship was to activate, um, so it has to move five inches. So and that's no low, to do that. a low heat, is it? That that's one? the yep. Gaia Panther. Okay, oh, sorry, yeah. So that would move five inches in a, in a straight line, like so. Um, and then if you, on the on the uh, the card will tell you whether it's a uh, a yellow turning angle, which is mm -hmm. the narrower of the two, or a red turning angle, which is the wider of the two. Okay. And you get this uh, turning arc here, which shows you, which gives you that you can see that one's a wider angle and one's a one's a narrower angle. So this one, if I wanted to turn it, I put that there and say I wanted to turn it. Let's go this way. Put it on the back corner. I can turn it up to that much. I could just turn it a tiny bit if I wanted, okay. but I can turn it up to there. Right. And then that's done. So then it needs to do its second move. So we go five again. Um, and then again, I could turn if I wanted to. So let's say we turn back the other way. And then it's moves complete. Okay, does the wind affect you at all for where you can turn and, and move? Uh, if you're going to play the full wind rules, then yes, because mm. it will affect it depending on the direction of the wind. Uh, it will affect like the speed that you can go, right. or if you, which is you turn straight into the wind, uh, you know it might might hit you and slow you down completely, and mm. then you've got a chance to tack out of the wind. Okay. Um, but uh, those are in those are additional rules for people who want to play the full wind rules. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't affect you. Okay. Yeah, and I guess true. that just makes it a lot quicker to yes. learn. Certainly, that's you know you can get straight into it. Absolutely. So if you have a look at a full speed one doing uh, red turning angles, you'll see the uh, the difference in obviously just how far it goes um, and how far it can turn. So go five and I'll turn all the way that way. Then we go five again. And it can go. Obviously, it doesn't want to go too far because it's going to crash into that one. Yeah. Uh, can turn like that, and then it can come all the way in front of it. Oh, he's so just going to miss it. All the way up here. Like so. So actually, so with the obviously faster speeds, more move steps, and the bigger turning angles, you can be much more manoeuvrable, much quicker. I was, I was quite surprised actually. I expected it to be quite slow, as in terms of the turning arcs and things like that. But actually, that one could get around. That was quite nimble. That one really. Yeah, you got to be careful, especially on a, a, a smaller table like this, that you don't go too fast, mm. um, because it, you know even with a, a wider turning angle. You're going to have to slow down, otherwise you're going to be hitting the edges or hit, hitting terrain and things like that. And obviously you've got other ships to worry about. So you've got your your turning angles to, to calculate and your speed, and obviously judging what the other your opponent's going to be doing as well. So there's a there's a, a lot of tactics to think about, mm. but yes, you can get around quite quick. And what, what happens with things like terrain? How does that affect how you can move? Uh, well, typically you're not allowed to deliberately hit something. Right. But obviously, through uh, perhaps bad luck, bad planning, <laughs> anything else, you might hit something. Ships try to, ships that w w will hit each other both get a chance to evade. Mm. Um, and as long as they, as long as one of them passes, then they won't hit each other. Terrain can't get out the way. <laughs> so something like rocks or an island, if you do unfortunately hit it, uh, it's going to hurt. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, the only the exception is the the orcs. Uh, obviously, they are allowed to ram. <laughs> so if they've got if they if they've got a ship that's got the ram rule. They are allowed to uh, deliberately hit other vessels, um, and they can then initiate a boarding action, which you normally can't do as well. Okay. So orcs are a bit mad like that. Great, sounds great. And is there anything else that would affect movement, or is that kind of pretty much it for that? That's it. In the main, some ships have got uh, oars, which if you're, which, and, and the rules for oars uh, vary slightly depending on whether you're using the full wind rules or yeah. not. If we're not, so we're, like we like we are here then they can make a, um, if you've got oars, once per turn, you can make um, a move, uh, a turn before your move step. Okay. Rather than uh, rather than at the end. Oh, that's useful, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's, uh, it gives them a, a little more tactical edge 
uh, if you've got ores like that. Great. Okay, now I'm an orc player. I haven't shot anything yet. I'm getting a bit twitchy. So maybe next we'll see how you can shoot people. Mm -hmm.